remember that I, I, I get it. Some people might not be fond of me, and you're certainly not under any obligation to like me. I'm, I'm okay with that. However, the ones that are protectors of the mainstream or the standard, let's say of the comic book industry, I have said a million times that you should be applying some sort of vigor um, and, and, and being precise and nitpicking and doing all of that stuff with the actual main industry because it, it has a lot of issues that plague it. There are a lot of problems that are going unaddressed, creators being screwed over. Uh, we know industry isn't doing as well as it, as it once was before, and people are finding out that um, there's not a lot of money in it, and it should be. But because of the culture that has been facilitated in this industry that has gone basically uncorrected, I guess independents are able to do it. True independents, not like these major indies, are able to correct those mistakes. But a lot of the guys are on faulty ground, and at some point it's going to continue to crumble. Well, it's already going to crumble, but at some point it will actually fall down, if you will. We'll get to this one in a minute, but Zach Thompson is a comic pro. I think he's worked with both Marvel and DC before in the past. And this is uh, funny. He posted this uh, four days ago. He has me blocked. I've never inter interacted with this guy. Uh, says everyone making comics and it's a gif or something says uh, uh, from something says got to figure out how to make money on this. So now, again, these are guys that work with the actual industry. They're the ones that get these commissions. And somehow we keep hearing about these financial issues. I'm not saying they started today, but you hear so much about um, uh, the, these particular uh, issues, whether it be with them not getting paid on their commissions, uh, them, uh, let's say artists and maybe even writers not getting the page rates uh, increases uh, over the years and all that. Um, I mean, maybe someone can make the argument. Maybe a lot of them don't actually deserve it, but. This is a problem. Like the fact that y'all don't look at definitely as these companies are tied to multi-billion dollar corporate entities and stuff like this happens. And there, there are comic pros that don't want to be transparent at all about it. See, they do it in secrecy. Remember, we were covering those lists of all these comic pros are talking about them not getting money and they refused to name who they were working with. But we knew just by using our context clues, but they would name them because they look at it like I'll never get a commission again if I out these guys for not having, you know, I've completed a commission. And it's been six weeks since I got money. Like a comic pro should not be posting stuff like this. But here's another one. He since deleted, if I'm if I'm not mistaken, couldn't find a tweet. And someone posted to him. He's writing or has wrote, I'm guessing, or did the artwork on uh, the Scarlet Witch. And someone asked him, are the sales of Scarlet Witch doing OK? No, they're not. Do you think we could expect to have at least 30 issues? <laughs> Not a chance. What the hell goes 30 issues outside of detective comics and Batman and, and a character they're trying to like force down your throat, like maybe a Captain Marvel. But these books ain't going on 30, 30 issues no more. You'd be lucky to get a limited series. And Steve Orlando says sales are struggling. Oh, you think? When I see it, they get mad at me alongside the whole industry. Well, I can't particularly relate to that. I'm sorry. Uh, right now, we'll hopefully get to 10 <laughs> to get the 15 sales. We need to continue to climb. He you ain't getting a 10. Maybe. Maybe. Industry's doing well, though, guys. It's doing fantastic. Comics are booming. They've never been better. And everybody that's actually in the industry understood. See, what's happened is these the defenders of the bigger guys do not want to ever admit that their ideological enemies were correct. They'd rather not ever do that because there's been people ringing an alarm on this that comics are not doing as well as they want to like everybody to believe. And a lot of these guys aren't in the industry, but they may be followers of, of let's say, the big guys because they don't want these uber right wingers and. And, and the, the, the bigots and all these guys and misogynists to be right. As they misassess and defame and libel and lie, just straight up lie, slander about people and their own individual motivations. 
They just can't have you be right. But every now and then they slip up and they will admit publicly, at least the pros, because everybody already knows it, will be like, yeah, it ain't doing, it ain't doing that well. Ah, yes, why why they've been trying to take credit for manga in their comic book sales. Comic sales, unit sales are going up. No, they're not. Unit sales actually aren't going up at all. They'll say the money's going up. Well, you also charge more. There's more five dollar comics than there have ever been. Even though they're printed on paper that you bake cookies on. They're the ones selling you that. It it it, it, it it's not in a good shape. It hasn't been in good shape for a while. But here's the thing. You can't actually resolve the problem unless you admit that it exists. So you get these weirdos who are sitting here insisting that they're all walking around like they stuff don't stink. The house is on fire, bro. Put it out. But you got to acknowledge that it's not there. It doesn't go away when you just say, oh, there's flames there. But I'm, I'm just going to say that. I'm just going to pretend that it's not there. That's not how it works. If you want to fix this problem, you have to acknowledge it's a thing. There are issues, economic problems, readership issues. You, you, you're catering to demographics that aren't really buyers. Comic book shops aren't even comic book shops anymore. They sell more games, tabletop stuff and figures. And used to be Funko Pops. Those are starting to go down the drain, but all that type of stuff selling far less comics because it's wasted real estate square footage in your comic book shop because they aren't doing the, doing that well. And I'd like to fix it. I'm a competitor. I look at it from a comp competition standpoint. I'm like, why in the hell is manga? These Japanese folk coming on in your, in your backyard. And they done took a dump on a, on a dining room table. And then they bucked at you and said, what you going to do about it? And y'all just, just, just went and hid in the corner. You ain't check them. You ain't do nothing. I'd rather compete. This don't make no sense. You, you were the ones that influenced them from animation on to the comic books. You influenced them, right? All the old school Japanese uh, anime, they were all influenced by American animators and all and cartoonists. And now, it's not like they changed anything. They've been doing the same thing for 30 years. Books had the same damn beat. The only thing that changed is your stuff started sucking. And now you got a generation of people that realize you're a way, you just, you just, you just, you're trash. How about we go to the better alternative? They don't even got colors. Jujutsu Kaiser right here. They got, they got me reading the book the wrong way. I got to read it the wrong way and it ain't got color. Let's compete. But in order to do that, you have to acknowledge the problems. And it's not just a one size fits all. It's not just one problem. There are many different issues that plague the industry. Let's solve it. But you have to acknowledge that it exists in the first place. If you enjoyed this video and want to support other content, please become a member at ericdjuly.com. This is my own unique platform that replaced my Patreon. Our Ultramax, which is our highest tier, gets free shipping domestically even with Ripperverse orders and are able to redeem the Creator's Edition copy of ISOM number one. You can move up and down tiers or cancel at any time. Also visit Ripperverse.com. This is my comic book company that launched a $3.7 million campaign. We appreciate your support.